What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sephora Go. And last night on my live stream, some of my viewers asked me to try Tower of Trials Stage 90 using my A6 Rugal. Now, you guys know how I feel about Tower of Trials. I think it's a really fun game mode. I like that it's really challenging, that it's really difficult. What I don't like is the fact that these are one-and-done rewards and the fact that there's no replayability in this game mode and that you only get three attempts a day. After the third attempt, you're done and you have to wait till the next reset before you can try it again. And honestly, it really doesn't motivate players all that much. And you can see at tier 90, guys, you need 415,000 CP, right? And they added 30 stages to this thing and you need 769,000 CP. Huh? So, I mean, we're going to get some, like, physical damage, explosion characters in the future. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. Let me know in the comments if any of you have reached 120. Oh, my God. That is absolutely bonkers. I mean, I know players that's, like, near 100, but, I mean... 120 is just nuts but i'm gonna show you guys a run that i did now i don't want to hit challenge because that'll automatically use my well no no i actually won't so this is the team that i used i'm going to show you guys a run that i did on my live stream last night and i know 100 percent know that i can do this with this team i really need to level this rugal up i really need to level duolan up because these characters are at level 50 that would help so much if they were at level 60 level 70 obviously and then once this guy gets to level 70 which i'm still trying to get prime memory shards for then it's going to be a lot easier and in fact if you would have been level 70 i guarantee i could have done this but i know i can do this at a six and guys you know as far as the sets i mean it's a typical same old you know we got the rugal set and the cosme and the only the option card is it's just same old stuff guys for this version of rugal we got the rugal set the zhang fei card and then a cooldown card uh really i could have used a different cool uh, card to be perfectly honest and i think if i would use the 3pg one of these 3pgs instead of the healing one that might have been better but i i like I like having that heal. That is really, really nice. And I got Nakaruru for a heal. Uh, I do have uh, this version of Rugal because he actually does decrease damage received by 4%. It helps a little bit, but the immunity is nice if you can time it correctly, right? Because as long as you keep this guy above 30% HP, he's going to be able to reset his heal and recover 100% max HP, which is nice. Unlike Demo Space where he can't even heal at all or barely, right? Barely, just a little tc weetsy whereas in this game mode he actually can and this is this is a prime example of a game mode that's super hard but it is feasible it is feasible i just wish it wasn't one and done i just wish we had some replayability i wish we had more attempts every day i wish we could play it as much as we want and pick whichever stage we want to play on that would be lit honestly and just leave the game mode the way it is i'm fine with it being difficult like i said in previous videos i have no problem with game modes being difficult it's just the rewards have to reward the players for the difficulty level but this is a fun game mode it really is and it does require some strategy when you're playing and obviously we're going to be using dual lawn because dual lawn is just tanky as hell because of his decreased damage received the dude is just like he doesn't like he could take so much damage it's just insane how much damage this character can take it's bonkers i mean as long as he has that decreased damage received up he doesn't take hardly anything at all, which is phenomenal. And you guys, like when you see this run, you're going to be like, man, like like on the live stream last night, I was cussing and I was like, <laughs> actually, I was laughing in insanity. But as you guys see, Rugal's got a disadvantage, right? A uh, little tip for any of you new players is anytime you see that blue, those blue numbers shooting up, that means they have a disadvantage. Okay, they have a disadvantage. So rugal actually has a major disadvantage right now uh, against these guys now here's what's nice about rugal when he does his third skill he keeps him up in the air it's really times like this by the way that i wish i had a7 gen on my main account seriously with my rugal that would be insane but you know i didn't right i just pull for the collabs on my free-to-play account i don't pull for any other characters and on my main account i'm a little stingy right because i kind of have to be because it really is so expensive to get every single character in the game but all I'm really trying to do is make sure that Rugal's core, his healing core, doesn't take effect, right? As long as it doesn't take effect and I go into another character, when I bring Rugal back in, his core will be ready to go if I do take some damage. 
and you definitely want to be using your 3PG as much as possible. Now, see, you notice that uh, Ash there was actually gaining super armor, and he was slowly getting up. One thing about the, the skills of Rugal is that it actually slows down the animations of Ash. And, you know, they're actually going in a slower animation, so you can actually really see him getting up, and then once he stands up, go straight into your default. Break him out of that super armor and just go into your skills again. I mean, that's a big tip that I can give you. Having healing strikers also is very, very good, even though for my Rugal, I don't, or for this Rugal, but he really doesn't need it, guys, if played properly. I mean, as you'll see in this run, he doesn't really need it. All right now, you see Ash, he just kind of laid on the ground, and I didn't hit my default fast enough when we took damage, right? But our healing core is taking effect. We're healing up completely, and this is where we want to do just a couple attacks and get the hell out of there, right? I don't want to stay in there too long. See, and that's why I switched, guys, because if I would have kept my Rugal in there, God Rugal in there, Ash would have froze me, and yeah, I'd be dead. And that's kind of what happens, man. You need to switch your characters as fast as you can and always be aware of the timing of your cores. I mean, like, you know, with Rugal's case, if his core is off the cooldown, then it's all good. You don't have to worry about taking damage and he'll heal up 100%. But if it isn't, then you need to switch him as fast as possible before Ash starts throwing out his bullcrap black attacks, right, to actually freeze you, which really, royally sucks, guys. I mean, you know, and 90, I mean, this is tough. It really is tough, but I mean, I tried this like twice last night on the live stream. Well, actually, I tried it three times. The third time, I really just didn't care. Kind of lost all motivation after this run. So that already tells you guys that I did fail, obviously, right? But when you see how close I got, and I mean, it is close. Now, look at the damage that Rugal's doing, right? This is stage 90, A6 Rugal, right? Now, he does have the type disadvantage. Keep that in mind. Look at the damage he's doing. 320,000 CP. He's barely like, look at it. He's like, dee, 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 just a little here and there, here and there, here and there. Right? He could take down a bit of life, right? You know, but it's not nothing insane. It's not nothing crazy. So, I mean, like, th th this game mode really is fun. It really is a fun game mode. I just, I just wish we could play it more. I just wish that we had some replayability to where, you know, like, we, we clear it once and we're done. Like, I can't face stage 85 anymore. And that sucks. I mean, I, I mean, Netmarble should at least do that. Even if we don't get any more rewards, at least do that so we could showcase, like, new characters in these game modes and bring in some different content. Yes. Yes, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, one of my viewers, you know, typed in a little chat in the meme and that kind of got brought up. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens, man. It happens, right? Uh, we definitely have the memes going on in the live streams for sure. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, you know, this is just my second. And, guys, I don't play Tower Trials every day. I, I really don't. I hardly ever play it. And because it's a one-and-done reward system. That's why, I I mean, it's nice getting those extra rubies. But, God almighty, I, I just wish we could play it more, right? Even if we just get the rubies the one time, okay, fine. It'd be nice if we actually got rubies more often like demo space that would be much better but even as it is right now i would be completely okay with just them letting us replay the game mode just let us replay it like you know i get a new character that's a2 and i'm like oh my god stage 60 tower of trials this character's doing awesome and but we can't do that because we can't play it again and i i mean i really i mean net marvel come on what is the harm in letting us replay these game modes even if we're not getting any more reward, right? You know, like, what's the harm, right? I mean, this this really is, it's fun. It's a fun game mode. I like Tower Trials. I just don't like the way it's kind of implemented, right? I don't like certain aspects of it. The difficulty level of it, I think, is pretty fair and well-balanced. It really is. Like, you do have to know how to play to do well in this game mode. You do. You do have to have some skill. You do have to understand what's going on in order to do well and understand the cores of your characters to do well in this game mode. That is absolutely true, right? And that's what I like about it. They don't just nerf the living crap out of your characters to where they just can't do anything. They can't heal. They can't ever like what they've done in Demos Base. They don't do that in this game mode. And that's, honestly, I think that's fantastic. I think that's awesome. If, if, we, I, if we had a Tower Trials that actually reset every week kind of like shadowland and marvel future vibe 
That would be awesome for those of you that might know Shadowland and Marvel Future Fight, although that's way too damn easy in Marvel Future Fight. I mean, if they did something like that, oh my god, that'd be so lit. Right? So lit. But I mean, yeah, we're, we're grinding it down. We're going at it, man. My man, Dual Lawn. I mean, even though Dual Lawn, honestly, guys, is a huge letdown and really should have been buffed, really should be stronger than what he is. He is super fast, has really cool animations, and his tankiness is godly here. The fact that I can make sure I can keep that 30 second cooldown up on Rugal's heal, I can make sure that his heal is always available whenever I bring him back in, because Dual Long can tank all of these attacks. And then I got Athena with a 30% recovery heal, which really adds to his survivability big, big time. Oh yeah, and you see there, I hit my default to make sure that Ash didn't, you know, try to freeze us. And if you notice, this version of Rugal actually can keep him up in the air either. Now I realize, guys, like, you know, this isn't really showing a how-to anything. There's other characters that can do this, like Jen, of course, right? But, you know, this is the team that I'm using on my main account because they're the only ones that really can do this. Oh yeah. I mean, I imagine you guys are probably getting sick and tired of Rugal because there's so many videos showing him but at least we're doing a different game mode other than guild raid today i mean so look at this guys we are down to the last bar the last bar dual lawns took a lot of damage right and and he's froze right now so we're pretty screwed i'm trying to switch my character but i couldn't i was trying to switch to rugal but they wouldn't let me do it because he was froze and that screwed me so bad and i actually kind of screwed up in the run here with uh omega rugal or god rugal a little bit as well because I didn't use my concentrate and I actually used an awakened skill instead. And it, like right here, it, it totally screwed me so bad. And I switched the other Rugal. I'm trying my best to keep it going, guys, but man, it's just right. And we see the super armor up. I try to break the super armor. I'm going into my skills. I'm sweating bullets so much right now. I'm like, oh! you know, I really. really I'm really sweating like crazy right now trying to do this, trying to get it done because it takes so long, man. And, you know, and it's like the anticipation is building up, right? The excitement is building up. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go. And we didn't get the reset on the first skill, guys. And if we would have got that reset on that first skill, this would have been over. And then, boom, we're freaking dead. We're freaking dead, right? And then I'm trying to do it with this version of Rugal. And we are going to bite it, guys. I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to get away. I'm trying not to take too much damage. Got to heal from Nakaruru. And we're froze and we're dead. We're just dead now. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I'm like, no, 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 no. In the live stream, I'm like, right? And then as soon as I die, actually on the live stream, I just burst out and freaking angry laughing look at how close i was to doing that right look at how close i was to doing that right oh yeah you probably guys probably saw that right look at that look at how close i am to doing this right and let's go ahead and show this real quick another little meme for you guys what kind of a meme <laughs> hopefully i don't get copyrighted for that but i mean <laughs> I mean, and that's, I mean, so close, guys, but so far away, man. So close. So I know I can do it. I know I can get it done. Absolutely, guys. You get within that close, I guarantee it, right? If I wouldn't have messed up at the end and hit my awakened skill, if I would have hit my concentrate at the very end, we would have beat that. We would have absolutely won. So, but I'm just going to save these runs for the live streams because in all honesty, they're fun to do on the live stream. They take a little bit of time. They're fun to do. And everybody can laugh at your misery when you fail. But I really wish we had more attempts instead of just three every day. It sucks so much. And yeah, let me know how you guys are doing in Tower of Trials. And if you've had those epic fails like myself, and I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GW7 time. The link is in the description below. And I also would like to let you guys know, man, please check out my other channel, The Nom Life Man. I'm doing a little workout series on there. Uh, the production value isn't as good as what I'd like it to be because I'm actually filming myself. But I got to give myself a plug, man, guys. Please Join that channel, you know, show some love and support, man. You know, if you guys are trying to, you know, get in better shape, maybe it'll help you out and you can watch this old man suffer in the gym. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.